Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your October 2nd to October 8th weekly love reading. I do apologize for the delay. I will be doing your reading now. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is intended to be a weekly love reading. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you, but I'm going to shuffle a little bit more. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. And I will zoom this in. This is for the sign of Scorpio, October 2nd to October 8th. The basis of your reading is the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I'm going to zoom this in. And right next to it, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this tells me that there's a... There's a strong attraction between you and another person, and it, it's a couple. See, this is a husband and a wife, and um, so this is, and this can be any sign, but this is just telling me that there's a strong attraction between you and another person. This week is probably about a union, because we have the union up here, and it's a very strong union, a deep union. Um, I think there's conflicts right now. And one of you might be, or you might be, both independent or something like that. Because this is the independent person, often the widow, the divorcee, or somebody who is separated. Just being grateful for all that they have, living in life's little luxuries. Perhaps dreaming about the future. Maybe they've invested a lot. Maybe you have invested a lot in your future. And you're just living gratefully at this time, waiting for things to come to fruition. Um... I do see that somebody has uh, moved to a more peaceful spot in their life, you know, moved away from any trouble and things are more peaceful. Um, this is the truth of the situation. This is a wake up call. This is some kind of breakthrough that causes you to have faith and trust, okay? But it's connected to the chariot as well. So this tells me that you are taking action. You are, you are in in control of the situation this week you're in control of something okay you have put yourself in the driver's seat and you're moving forward and I think you're doing it very quickly and I think that part of the journey involves having faith and and taking a risk and it brings you a lot of peace to take this risk um, it does involve a commitment and it does involve a union so um, and I think it hasn't been easy. I think it's there's been a lot of work involved, all right? Um, we do have, I do see that there's there has been some challenges. That's for darn sure. Um, but it looks like, you know, there's a foundation that you're just, you're still building a foundation with somebody. And some of this may resonate with some and not for all. But I see some of you are building it, uh, starting a new foundation with somebody, and you're still at the beginning stages. And for others of you, um, you've been at the beginning stages for quite a while. You know, it's like things haven't progressed like you had hoped, all right? But you've really, really been working on it. Um, if you're single and you don't have anybody, you can meet somebody at a gathering. Could be a work gathering. Um, a work uh, social get together or something like that uh, either way this person that you're with right now is probably somebody that you are deeply connected to there's probably a mutual attraction and it could lead to marriage all right and it can be any sign at all I think that you are taking a very practical approach um, 
probably being very responsible and conscientious of your decisions. And I think that you are taking a leap, leap of faith with somebody. Um, and I think it's very exciting. I think that you have just decided to um, basically take the bull by the horns and jump right into it, okay? And I think that you're probably very grateful. So I think that's really, really good. I just think that whereas things may have been muddy and now they're more um, smooth, you know, I think the mud is starting to dissipate in your life whereas things are starting to smooth out and I think that you're really starting to have a fresh start probably with this person who you, um, who is your soulmate. All right, because we have this couple right here and it's like they're meant to be together and they're right next together, right next to each other. So it can be any sign. Um, but so far we have Cancer. We have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. But we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn quite a bit. Okay, so that's a pretty strong, prominent energy. But I see that you may have moved away from somebody, okay? You may have moved away from one of those people as well because we have this moving away. And it, and it was um, risky, okay? Something was very risky because, and you may have moved away from a cancer as well. It can be any sign. I really don't like to do that. I think that a lot of you may have moved away from a um Someone, you put yourself in the driver's seat, you've mastered your emotions, you're taking a practical approach, and you're doing the right thing for you. And I think that there's if there's been challenges in your life and conflicts, and you finally at a point where there's a breakthrough, and you're finally getting the fresh start that you've been hoping for, all right? We have the wheel here. This is good fortune is on your side. So it looks like good luck is here for you. I think that a lot of you are starting a new chapter. And it isn't like it wasn't um, hard to start this new chapter. I think that you had to go through a lot to get to where you are right now, put it that way. Um, yeah, it's not like it did. it happened overnight. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the next step. I think uh, you've been very disciplined. And I think this month or this week, you're, you're remaining very disciplined. I see a lot of new growth, okay? There's a lot of new growth. There's there is. It looks it it looks like things are finally happening, and you made it happen by remaining disciplined, by be, remaining the master of your emotions, by working on it, by sticking it out. You know, by taking the lead and and doing exactly what you knew, and by having some faith. You know, I think that things are working out in your favor this week because of your faith in yourself and the situation. <laughs> and sevens are about faith, okay? Seven and seven. This is a seven of wands and this is a seven of cups. Um, and you have another seven under here too, I believe. But anyway, it doesn't the sevens are about faith and trust. So I, and with the fool here, I think a lot of you have prospered and this week it's going to pay off, you know, because of your faith. I think your faith and trust is going to pay off because you know, it it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy to have that faith and trust in the face of diversity, you know. But I think that you have. I think that there may have been some fear. We have the moon here. There may have been some fear that needed to be overcome. But I think that it's right here with the chariot. I think a lot of you have mastered your emotions. And it's really paying off. This right here, the Seven of Cups, this is about um, choices as well. I mean choices, sorry. It's about choices and um, 
illusions and you have illusions under here too there's that other seven I knew there was anyway um, the, it, there's a few illusions here and I don't know if they're yours or your partners but I think there has been um, and this this card says that you need to be careful what you choose all right do you want um, to be stuck in a situation that is going to own you or do you want to be free okay so that's what this card basically says um, this three of pentacles lord of material work that's what this card says this is about um, teamwork and collaboration next to this three of swords after a period of grief or rejection or regrets so I don't know how this resonates with you but we have a couple of threes right here um, I'm not sure if there is there was a third party situation or if you had to choose between two people or what but I see that there's teamwork there could be um, this what's the word for it collaboration between you your partner and another person that wasn't uh easy to overcome you know that you had to work together and it wasn't easy and finally you you've reached this breakthrough where things are happening in a more peaceful manner okay and i think it all stems from um being in control, not losing control of the situation, not losing faith, all right, um, not quitting, re uh, remaining on target, um, and taking the lead. I think that you guys have really um, been in control and remained in control of a situation over a period, over, uh, what's the word for it? A time of strife, you know what I mean? Between people. I think that you have overcome a time of, um, bullshit. <laughs> That's how I talk, you know, when people don't get along, you know, of people. You've overcome some hard times between people and you've done it with your faith and your um, emotional control, the ability to control the situation with your um, demeanor, okay? You've been able to keep things under control, keep things structured, structured and you've been able to work things out and it looks really like things are finally starting to happen because of your um, poise. You know, you're so poised. You're so well put together. So I think that you have made, the, made things smooth out in a situation. And this week, you should feel very proud because I think that you have... Um, accomplished something you feel it feels like you're very accomplished at this time and I think this grief I think you've overcome it okay because it, you you never quit you never quit you just kept working at it and working on it and you did so by being the master of your emotions I think you've been very strong and I think this week it's paying off. Your your strong inner wisdom and the ability to handle things with tact is has paid off. And if not, that's the, that could be coming up this week. But I see you as being very respected for who you are. This is intended to be a love reading. <laughs> I think it's about teamwork, working together perhaps with the two people, you know, coming together and being able to work together over after a time of 
um, not getting along, you know, not being able to work together. And I think that this is happening because of all your hard work, you know. If there's any decisions this week that you need that you need to make, I think you'll be able to make them with ease. All right, I think you have a lot of inner strength. I think that you're mastering your emotions very well. I don't think there's a lot of fear. I, that moon card is right over the chariot. I think that you are replacing fear with faith and trust. I think that that's a major breakthrough for you. I think that the strife in your life is, is dissolving in a very big way this week. It looks like this week you should be feeling very confident and um, excited about the week. It just seems like it's a very, very good week where there's, there's not a lot of strife, okay? The heart of the matter. I'm going to zoom that in. That's good enough. Number 22, faith and trust. Somebody else had faith and trust too, but it wasn't 22. But as sevens are faith and faith and trust as well, mostly faith, but twos are faith and trust. The heart of the matter, that's what the truth is too. You have prospered because of your inner wisdom and your inner strength and your ability to have, the, have faith, okay? That this is going to work out and you are going to make it work out and that's how I see it. The heart of the matter, there is more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. Take a moment to get to the real issues in this situation. Sometimes at the very heart of the situation lies the truth of what is going on. Be honest and willing to do whatever is necessary to take care of this. What did I just say? I said something before I read this, but it's gone. And it was totally this right before I read this. You're going to take care of it. Something like that. It's the truth. <laughs> That is so funny. Yeah, you're on the job, okay? You got it. It's like nobody can shake you. <laughs> That's what I see. Um, this week, I think you're very strong, Scorpio, and nobody can shake you. 